Okay, Maria, back with part two of my video. Um, so, um, yeah, so I, I called the video Unstable Foundation, and I think that's a very good, <laughs> a very good um, name for the video. So um, I was just, uh, I was uh, made aware of my, um, it, my employment ending on um, Friday. Uh, my last day of work will be Friday, regardless of the fact that I had let them know that I'm a victim of domestic stalking, which I should be protected under that, since I let them know that, but you know how things work, right? Anyway, um, so now I'm in a situation where um, I'm not sure if I will be receiving unemployment benefits or not. Um, I have to face a town that has showed that and demonstrated to me that they are filled with psychotic rage and I'm not able to get in contact with anybody. Um, so I can tell you right now there's a lot of fear inside of me. Um, so some people would say, well, you should have just been quiet and kept quiet. Once you have been, once you've experienced so many strange things, it's very difficult for a person um, to 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 be to do that and anyway I I have every right to be concerned about my future and what's going on with my life this whole thing has been an inappropriate and it, it's it's absolutely terrifying so once again I'm dealing with an unjust illegal situation that's putting me in a very uncomfortable situation okay Calipo if you claim that you are a victim of domestic stalking you're supposed to have protection so guess where that leaves me um so. Um, and I will, be, you know, I, I will make an effort to contact certain people who are employers that I worked with before. Um, th this should have never happened. It should have never happened. So I'm left here with no peace of mind. I'm sitting here wondering what's going to happen to me. I, I'm going to have to wonder, I'm wondering where am I going, what's going to happen? You know, how, how could I not feel that way? You know, I resent the fact that um, employment can be so easily manipulated. I, I really do. I resent it. I resent that fact. I resent the fact that people can obviously see that I had nothing to do with any of that. I've been bewildered. I have made over 400 videos trying to put this picture together, okay? And that's not to say, you know, some people might think, I mean, other people may know the big conversation about the whole Facebook thing and then all of this stuff. They may have an understanding of it, but I can honestly tell you, I'm putting pieces together slowly but surely based on conversations, situations I've been in, so on and so forth. I'm in a very awkward situation here, okay? I also am fully aware that the um, CPA here in town who arranged the job at the pharmacy is also involved. So my question is, these people have done everything illegal everything inappropriate and I'm being put in a situation where I'm having a hard time making ends meet where is my justice where do what happens to me okay I'm going to be put out you know this Friday without a job okay no hope for my future not even sure if I'm getting unemployment benefits okay I don't remember see I understand when you fill out unemployment information from the employer standpoint but I'm not really fully familiar with the unemployment system, the whole EDD, how that works, you know, um, on their end, okay? Now, I've been working there for about a year, about a year and three months, okay? So, once again, Maria is put in an awkward situation, and they feel no sense of responsibility to give me any explanation, okay? So, where does that leave me? Okay, that, that, that's, that's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. You know, I'm, and, and, you know, the, the problem with it is, is that, you know, like I said, I, I'm here left with a bunch of questions. Now, I'm not trying to dredge up any issues on Facebook or anything like that, but, you know, for them to think that, well, you know, Maria needs to get in contact with us, no, that's quite the opposite. If they were truly remorseful, they need to get in contact with me. I've done nothing wrong, okay? So it's their responsibility to make the first step to make amends, okay? But do you see anybody doing that? No, you don't. You don't see anybody doing that, okay? Because it, it gets to the point where they are so, um, um, 
guilt ridden that they don't want to make any any move or whatever I, and so I, I, I'm left like I, I don't even know what to think anymore you know what I mean so to say that they don't know how to get in contact with me well that's bullshit because they know they can get in contact with me I sent several messages to, to Steve Lyles they can look up my name they could find me if they really wanted to so um, this is what happens to targeted individuals they're basically left in a state of uh, financial destitution, um, they're left isolated, they're left concerned and worried, and yeah, I, I am concerned and worried, you know what I mean? I've been brought into a situation that doesn't concern me, that should have never been brought in in the first place, you know? Um, so yesterday I spent, you know, a while, you know, making contact with Steve Wiles, and you know, and I'm not trying to you know, hurt the guy or whatever, but at the same time, you know, if he's involved, you know, put up or shut up, you know, basically, you know, contact me if you, if you're part of this and your initial goal was to try to contact me, well then make a move, I mean, say something, okay, and if not, keep it moving because I don't have time to, to play games, I don't have time for that, okay, my life is basically put in a situation where I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay, I, I have no idea. Okay, so it, it, it puts you in a situation where you know I, I, I don't know what to think, I really don't. You know what I mean? Um, I'm trying to look for work, I, I have been looking for work, but like I said, you never know if you're going to meet a there's a certain plumbing place, you know what I mean, that I just recently applied to, and in and, and a CPA office, okay, and and it's like, okay, and these people just think that the, the game is funny. It's not funny. It's not a funny game. It's a very serious game. It's one where my life is literally being put in jeopardy over and over and over again. When you can't pay your bills, when, you're, when you are living in a situation that you cannot, you can't manage, you know, you can't quite make ends meet, okay? Um, when you're running out of money in the middle of the week, when you are um, being harassed at your place of employment, um, these sort of things over and over and over and over again. This is a very terrifying situation to be in, okay? Um, my reputation should be sparkling clean. I mean, it should be sparkling, shining, okay? I've done nothing wrong, okay? So what happens to these employers? What happens to people like Laura Hill? What happens to people like Kim Patterson? What happens to these people? They get to keep their job when they have made major major mistakes. They have damaged the life of an individual and they allow that to happen. They have no excuse for what they've done. They get to continue to live their life. I've done nothing and I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I'm going to pull everything together. Okay? This is what frustrates me so much. And no one ever really thinks about that. They don't think about the justice. Okay? This, is anybody, does anybody have my back? Because obviously everybody's got their back. They're completely protected. They're working. They got their lives together. I'm sitting here wondering what's going to happen to me. You know? So, yeah, I, I, I am upset. I woke up this morning and I'm like, okay, this is all fucking wrong. This is all, all of it's wrong. All of it. Um, and so, yeah, you know, now if, if, if Steve and David Lyles did, you know, actually come over to my house and we actually started talking, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not mad at, at them, you know, I'm, I understand that. But my point is, is that what are the employers doing? What are they doing? You know what I mean? Am I going to constantly be baited? I don't have time to be baited, especially at this point. I don't have time to play games, okay? I don't have time for any jokes. I don't have any time for any of it, okay? I am literally running out of time, okay? This has gone on entirely to too long, and it's gotten to the point where, you know, nobody seems to, everybody seems to make decisions that are based on bullshit when really I should be completely, fully protected, okay? I should be fully protected. But am I? I don't feel protected. I'm in a constant state of worry and agitation, and I can't expect anybody to do anything right, okay? That's my biggest concern, okay? I'm a woman all by herself. I have no one. No one, okay? So, I'm, I'm, I'm telling employers, you know, you can't continue to do this sort of stuff to people. It's wrong. I mean, there's no, 
Um, there is absolutely no reason why something like this should be going on regardless. Um, it needs to stop. I mean, it needs to, people need to start following the laws. And if they can't follow the law, then they shouldn't, um, they shouldn't be in those positions. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not the kind of person who, um, you know, it's, it's just like so, such a stigler for laws that I can't have fun or anything like that. But the, the whole ultimate goal in, 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 in a work environment should be working, you should be working in it in a way, in a way that's sound and ethical, okay? That's what you should be doing. And so, um, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm paying the price for something I'm not responsible for. I'm not responsible for any of it. You know, um, nobody makes any sort of comment. My family made no comment. They, they're the ones who are responsible for it. And this is where I lose respect. I lose respect for my family because they created this issue and literally left me in a state of, you know, absolutely emotionally sh shambles. And it shambles. They left me in a state of complete and utter shock. And they said absolutely nothing about it. They will say absolutely. And yeah, I, how can I not be worried? How can I not feel any worry in a situation like this when I have clearly experienced all these injustices, been brought in for interviews, been played with, been toyed with, okay? I'm not able to make all my bills on time. I'm not, li I'm not really functioning as I should be. And there's no explanation. Tell me how I can't worry. How can I not worry? And how can I sit here and focus on my health and my, my mental well-being when I'm being put under this kind of stress? How, how is that even possible? It's, it's not possible. Okay? So the thing is, if somebody was to say, well, you have no reason to complain, that's a lie. Okay? I have every right to complain. I have every right to be concerned. Okay? And I have every right to seek some sort of legal action because I'm tired of playing games. I'm sick of it. Okay, I'm, I'm literally a woman who's trying to doing the best to hold down a job and do the right thing for myself. Okay, I'm not responsible for any of this. So why am I constantly paying the price? Why am I constantly paying the price for something I've never done? Makes no sense. Um, so if I was to contact somebody from Facebook or whatever, then I expect, I expect some sort of dialogue to occur between the two of us. I mean, especially if you've played an active role in any of this, um, I expect some sort of, um, some, you know, face up to it. You know, I, I expect people to basically, you know, to face up to it, you know, to take responsibility for what happened. But, I mean, that seems to be, you know, very slow in coming. It, it doesn't happen. You know? My family, I mean, I don't want to talk to them, but at least I, I can assure you I don't ever want to talk to them, ever. But, you know, the thing is, when I was out there and made a request and said, hey, you know what, I'm a, I'm a targeted individual, which they put me in this program, okay? Not one step that they take to actually fix it. Not one. Not one. So I, I can't help but feel that way. And I'm not trying to be uncooperative. Like, let's say, for example, the whole entire town was, you know, cooperating to, to create some sort of big surprise for me, okay? And I'm not fully... How would you expect me to understand that? How would you fully expect me to understand the operation or that it's something for that's supposed to be to surprise me or it's supposed to be something positive when all I've really received is negative input? How could you expect me to... You know, you know, not complain or wonder what's going to happen because everything I'm dealing with it just seems to be wrong. You know, um, I am angry. You know, so when it comes to people like you know Karen Johnson, Steve Murray, uh, Wayne Long, these people who played an active role, who should have never gotten involved in the first place, are these people going to see me go into some sort of ravine? Are they going to pick their asses up and actually do something to fix it? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I've done nothing wrong. You know, I play a very, very, um, well, I don't like to say docile because there's nothing docile about me, but I play a role in, in this community to where I feel as though I've set an example of being an ideal um, member of the community, okay? Whether I'm acknowledged as a member of the community or not.
You know what I mean? I'm a person who goes to work, I come home. I've made absolutely no, um, uh, 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 I, I've done nothing to anybody in this community, but the community has turned and done things to me. And yet I see absolutely no sort of, um, I see no, um, no effort on anybody's part to rectify the situation. So my, my thing is, is that, um, that this, this leaves victims, this leaves people in a complete and utter state of shock and, and it immobilizes people, you know, um, my, my job search gets slowed down by people like the plumbing plays and people like, um, you know, the um, CPA office that wants to put these fake ads in here and bait people. You're baiting people under a, on a situation that's completely illegal. Why are you doing it? You know, why are you doing it? Why would you do something like that? Um, I'm not comfortable with it. Now, whether I ever, like, you know, contact the people from Facebook again, you know, that's, like, that, that, that's to be determined, okay? But like I said, that's their responsibility. If they were interested in trying to get in contact with me, they know how to make connect as a friend on Facebook. They know how to do it. All they have to do is contact Steve Lyles or Google, I mean, Google, but do a search on Facebook, they would eventually find me, okay? And he could provide that information. So if, it's their responsibility to make the first step, not mine. Not mine, okay? Especially since I dealt with all the animosity on Facebook. I dealt with all the animosity on Facebook and um, for no reason. I, I didn't even understand what was going on until I think I understand now. Okay, I, I, I have been literally bulldozed over. And everyone in the town knows it, knows I have nothing to do with any of that. And yet, well, I would say people have been much more friendly now, okay? I mean, I, I get a lot of people coming by saying hi to me, and I understand what they're doing. I mean, you know, I guess maybe they're taking interest in me now because they're like, wow, okay, well, this is who this person is, and, and she's not so bad after all. Okay, I have dealt with some nice people lately. But still, you know, ulti I'm still getting bullshit, bait baiting jobs, job baiting, all of this stuff. I'm still not being accommodated by, you know, agencies or anything like that. So I'm putting being put in a situation where I don't know what to do. Now, like I said, my last day of work is going to be Friday, okay? So where does that exactly leave me? Where am I? What am, what's going to happen to me? You know what I mean? What's going to happen to me? And it's not, you know, for somebody to say, well, you know, you shouldn't have been complaining about the job that somebody gave you or whatever. My point is, is that, um, my point is, is that if a person was a lawyer, and they find themselves in a situation where they're stuck getting jobs, constantly getting jobs um, as like a legal aid assistant or something like that. You know, they're going to be scratching their head. You know, especially in, in somebody, if somebody was to say, well, you got to think about what you want versus what you need. Nobody has the right to, to um, make those decisions for a person. If it was my desire to be a jet setter and go around the globe, you know, or if it was my desire to own a mink coat, which none of that has ever even really entered my mind, but my point is if those were my life goals, my aspirations, that's my right to have that and to pursue that, you know, but for somebody to sit here and make that decision for a person, that's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. So I have no, um, no contact. I have no, um, uh, I have no one to go to. Okay, I don't have a network system. I don't. I don't have anybody I can talk to, say, hey, can you help me find a job? Can you help me do this? Because I'll tell you, nobody, it seems like people start to avoid you because they've made a big mistake and they don't want to face up to it. So I'm sitting here wondering what's going to happen. I can't help it. I can't help but feel that way. So anyway, I, I'm going to, um, I think I've made my points and I've expressed my frustration enough. Um, you know, I, I can't help but feel that way. And I have every right to. You know what I mean? It's, it's very difficult to look for work when you got people putting in fake ads and, 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 and job, job boards and all these other things, okay? This is a very serious situation. I can't stress how serious enough it is. It is extremely, you know, um, 
frustrating situation. So if people from Facebook want to make amends, it's their responsibility to, to make that friend request. It's not my responsibility. It's not my responsibility to reach out to them. It's their responsibility to reach out to me. And that's not me being pig-headed. I don't know what to expect after all of this. I, I don't know what to expect. So I didn't create this situation. I was just a woman who was going to work and coming home. I, I don't have that, you know what I mean? So it's not my responsibility to, to, to fix it. The responsibility lies on them to make amends. The responsibility lies on the employer to make sure that I don't fall into a ravine because these employers and every single last one of them are in the wrong. Wrapping up this video, have a great day.